Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions. You're on Baran Channel where I get solutions to all your sovereign problems. It's nine seven your class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to simplify the geometries of what your vector data right good. So it can be maybe lines and then polygons or lines or polygons. So we have the administrative boundary of River State here, and then when we try to toggle, maybe start the toggle editing and then open this um, vertex tool right good now this vertex tool will show us the number of vertices that we have so if we over the mouse around and then right click somewhere we are going to see the vertex editor and then we are going to see the different points right good now each of these x and y defines a point right good so and then each of these points actually what um are the vertices right good or each of these points is actually the vertices so if you scroll down you are going to see we have about over 500 okay we have over 768 um, vertices right good so the idea is that when you want to use this polygon for some processes you would um, encounter the challenge of okay it has um too many vertices right good that actually defines the shape so we want to show you how to reduce the number of vertices that you have in this um, polygon which can be either a line right good so that you don't encounter such challenges and then you don't have to redigitize right good and then if there are distortions the distortions will be very minimal because we still need to what retain the shape that we need so um before you proceed ensure that your data is actually in a projected coordinate reference system so if we double click and then we still come up to the information we are going to see somewhere we have what the utm zone 32 that's where it falls so if you have um, a data in a geographic coordinate reference system ensure that um, you reproject it right good so you can simply do that for vector you right click you come to export you click on save features as and then while you are exporting you now change what the crs to what a projected coordinate reference system so that's how you can easily change what the coordinate reference system so i haven't done that and um, we come up to vector under the geometry tool we click on simplify right good you can alternatively come to the processing toolbox and then maybe search for what for simplify as the case may be so you can see that um, it is under what the vector geometry right good so it's the same thing so now um what are the inputs they said this um, algorithm simplifies the geometries in a line or polygon layer and then creates a new layer with the same feature as the ones in the input layer but the geometries containing a lower number of vertices right good so we had over 700 and something vertices in this current layer so we want to create or we want it to simplify so that we now have um, a new vector data that has what a lower number of vertices right good so the algorithm gives a choice of simplification methods including distance based area based and then the snapping geometries to create right good so and um, by default we have our input layer to be this and then the simplification method let us use what the the distance right good and then the tolerance we can decide to set the higher value however it might actually distort um, the shape more right good so let's say we want to use 50 so the values actually depend on maybe the shape you have and then the number of um, vertices that are contained in that shape right good and then how much of a um, reduction you want but remember that the higher it is um, the higher the chances that um, the shape of what your polygon will be distorted right good of your data will be distorted so you now see the units is actually in what in meters right good so i won't fix that we can decide to now save to file good so we are on our folder simplify vectors and then we can easily call this um, simplified right good so we click on save and then we run so it's completed if we bring this down you can see that there is visibly no much um, difference maybe except you zoom into some of the areas that you might see differences right good however our concern is now to check the number of vertices that we have in this um, current 
in this current uh, vector data set right let me put that out so we can see the vertices are out again and then we can see the vertex editor so if we zoom down we are going to see 491 as against 768 or over 750 that we add for the previous polygon right good and then as we are trying to also check we have not seen much of um, visible changes unless maybe you zoom to okay so the two layers are open we are trying to see if we can see some visible changes right good okay there are some visible changes towards the end here so this is why there's a caveat that um, your shape might actually change right good but not too much because when we have zoomed to layer you could barely what see that um, difference right good and then from the number of vertices we have seen that yes it is reduced so you can now continue your operation where you would have gotten that error message that um, your input data add um, too much yeah um maybe too much vertices that you need to reduce it for you to proceed and usually it's when you want to use um the usgs explorer for maybe imagery download and all of that right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular survey or js related problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye